All right, kindergartners, it's me again with the reading. And today, I want to give you another tip when you're reading some of those books that you've read over and over and over again. You know one cool thing that you can do to make your voice match the words exactly is think about the characters and what the characters say. Now, you guys know this is one of my favorite stories, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. And in this story, the characters have a lot to say. There was the tiny billy goat, the medium billy goat, the big billy goat, and there was that big angry troll. Well, if you think about what each character said and you say exactly what the characters say, you're going to be reading. So let's just open it up to a page here. Oh, let's see. Oh, man, this is that tiny billy goat, remember? And he said this. Remember, he was like, Oh, it's only I, the tiny billy goat gruff. Oh my gosh, guys. I just said exactly what the character said. And look, it matches the words. Oh, it's only I, the tiniest billy goat gruff. I'm reading. This is so exciting. No, you're not, said the troll. What? Oh my gosh, look, guys. No, you're not, said the troll. I'm making my voice match the book. So you can think about the characters and what they say in the story to help you make your words match exactly. So today I want you to practice saying exactly what the characters say in your story. Okay. And this will also help make your books kind of come to life. Okay. Which is really cool. That's really when you start really loving reading is when your book's kind of like, <gasps> you can act them out and you can really, really dig deep into a good book. So make this fun, boys and girls. Talk like the characters and try to say exactly what the characters say. And then you can make the characters come to life. All right. Have fun today. Bye.